Yo, what's going on guys, Kultimush back at it with another video, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the For Honor PC system requirements, this is Ubisoft's latest game, and yes, it being a Ubisoft game is probably going to make a lot of people very skeptical about this title, but they've got a very detailed post over on the UB blog going over the minimum recommended system requirements as well as a lot of other things, so I'll put a link to the blog down below in the description box and you can check that out if you want, but without further ado, let's get right into this with the minimum CPU requirement. So for the minimum CPU requirement, you're looking at an Intel Core i3-550 or an AMD Phenom 2 X4-955. Very old CPUs. That i3 in particular is very old, as is the Phenom 2 X4. The X4 was actually a very popular CPU, however, in like 2011-2012. But yeah, if you've recently built a PC, you probably have something far higher than that. As far as recommended CPU goes, I really like the Intel one here, the Core i5-2500K. That Sandy Bridge CPU is still trucking along. Hands down, one of the best CPUs ever released by Intel and on the AMD side you're looking at an FX 6350 or equivalent. The 6350 is obviously not as powerful as the i5 2500K. I did recommend the FX 6300 a lot back in the day. Really like that CPU but obviously you'll probably want a decent quad core Intel CPU if you want to run this game up to the best of its abilities. As far as RAM goes, minimum RAM requirement 4GB recommended RAM 8GB nothing too surprising there that's pretty typical these days. So yeah at this point if you have a gaming PC you definitely have at least four gigabytes more likely you have eight gigabytes if not that you probably have more than that moving on to what you guys care about the video card requirement for the minimum gpu requirement they actually have like every gpu listed so this is actually like very surprising by ubisoft they're going above and beyond for these video card requirements some of the gpus listed i'll just go over them real quick the gtx 660 750 ti 950 and 1050 on the nvidia side on the amd side you're looking at an hd 6970 7870 r9 270 r9 370 or an rx4 60, also 2 gigabytes of VRAM. Recommended GPU is obviously a bit higher on the NVIDIA side. You're looking at a GTX 680, 760, 970, or a 1060. Once again, 2 gigabytes or more. On the AMD side, you're looking at an R9 280X, R9 380, or an RX 470, 2 gigabytes or more once again. Of all publishers to do something like this, to list out all video cards from previous generations, so kudos to Ubisoft. I know they're not our favorite publisher, but they are doing something that I would like to see other developers and publishers pick up on. So as far as the GPU requirements themselves go, on the minimum end, it's pretty low. Recommended, it's obviously a bit higher, but this does look to be a pretty intensive game, so I'm not too surprised by it. I should mention that on the minimum side they actually have like what kind of settings you would have to use with hardware like that they're saying you would have to play at 720p at low video presets with vsync off and that would get you around 30 frames per second on the recommended side they're saying 1080p at 60 fps high vsync off as well which that's to be expected but like i said ubisoft going above and beyond to get out these system requirements let's just hope that the game actually runs up to par on pc we know that ubisoft is very inconsistent with pc but if i recall watchdogs two ran pretty well so maybe they're turning over a new leaf i don't know let's see some consistency from ubisoft and then we can start you know putting them on the good column as far as pc game releases go but i am still very skeptical these system requirements however something i would love to see from more and more studios no hard drive requirement is listed as far as i can see but i would imagine it's going to be 30 to 40 gigabytes as is the typical amount for new release games so let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below are you excited for for honor is this a game that you're thinking about picking up or is that Ubisoft stench still holding you back? Personally, For Honor looks like a very interesting game to me, but I do think that this is a game that if it doesn't have an active player base on PC, it's kind of going to be worthless in a month or two. So hopefully it's a solid game. Hopefully there's a solid player base to it and it stays alive for a little bit. We'll find out when this game releases on February 14th. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. If you have a request for a future video, you can leave that in the comment section down below and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.